this topic is one of those topics that I can talk for an hour about. And it has so much, so much information. So I will try and provide as much information to you as possible within just a few minutes I have. So what is data, really? Well, data is any information saved digitally. Though the dif dictionary defines data differently, the dictionary defines data as statistics and other items like that. But language, actually, the way we use data today is defined as, we use data a little bit differently to define as information saved digitally. Many aspects of data are out there. We have one common term we know about are cookies. People are afraid of the big bad cookies and, and all of that. So let me explain to you a little bit about what a cookie actually is. I never delete cookies, though there are a few exceptions when I run scans. And I'll explain to you a little bit about what that is about. But a cookie is nothing more than a piece of information saved or downloaded by websites that you visit, any website. For example, if you go to yahoo.com, you download what's called the cookie, which is a simple file that's saved on your computer. It's a piece of data that's saved onto your computer by the website. Let's say each one of you has a website, I mean a laptop out, and you access a website, you go to facebook.com, and each one of you downloads a cookie from facebook.com that contains a little piece of information. So what happens now is Next time you go to Facebook.com, it will look at the specific cookie that you downloaded, this little piece of information that you downloaded from Facebook. When you go again to Facebook, it will look at that piece of information and match it up with information on their website. So they save a bunch of information about your activities and on their website, so next time you go to their website, it will remember you. It will look at that little cookie that you downloaded and it will provide you with the information necessary for you. It's a, you can think of a cookie as an ID, a tag, just a piece of information that's necessary. And it's, un, it's unharmful, essentially. Which brings me to the next type of cookie, which is a tracking cookie, which is used to track your activities online. These again are essentially unharmful. You look at Google, Facebook, Yahoo, a lot of the major brands like that will install tracking cookies for market research because what it is is then it allows their, their companies to track your online activities. So if you go to any website, if you go to your uh, Bank of Oklahoma, if you go to Arvest, whatever bank you use, if you go to these websites, then Facebook, whoever installed the tracking cookie onto your computer will know your activities from that. They won't know your passwords and, and, and other personal details. They only know where you go to, and they know it anonymously. I mean, they're, they're the good guys, Google, Facebook, but they're all doing this. They're all the good guys. But here's where the problem comes in, which brings me to the next point, which is called spyware. And this is where the trouble comes. First, you need a good, solid system with integrity. Because if you have a system or a computer with integrity, you're less likely to receive what's called spyware. spyware. Well, spyware is, is meant usually to do harm, to steal information. So they might use a tracking cookie to, for example, get your username and password from your banking websites. That's probably one of the easier ways to hack people, is to create software like that. Of course, there's protection available to protect you from all that. If you use a free, a free antivirus, you're less likely to, to catch some of these vulnerabilities. But if you upgrade your, your antivirus, software, you can, you can actually prevent some of these tracking cookies from getting onto your computer in the first place. But again, the uh, tracking cookies are essentially un unharmful, but you're dealing with 
software like spyware. So spyware is created specifically to read the tracking cookies, to read this information, to, to get where you're, you're going online, and then to steal your information that way. I said before when I scan my computer, I might remove some of the tracking cookies. That's, that's just what I do. It's just something that's available there. It's not that big of a deal. A lot of times, a lot of times spyware can actually send messages on somebody else's behalf. And we see this a lot, and you might think that your account is being hacked and whatnot, but it's actually really easy to do to send an email to pretend like it's coming from somebody else's email. A lot of time, too, spam can happen uh, just automatically. They don't care how big or small you are as a company or as an individual. They're just there automatically. Uh, it's just software that runs throughout the internet and crawls throughout the internet. And it, it, it's just there specifically to spam people, to get on people's nerves. Anyway, that concludes my speech. Thank you for coming.